Hey everybody on YouTube, this is Jay Deals with the Martial Art Limited Association and today we are on location at Metrolina Martial Arts, one of our affiliate schools in Concord, North Carolina and actually Sensei Josh uh, Owens, who is our Judo affiliate, is going to be doing a breakdown on how to do a modified uh, breakfall. And so if you know traditional like Judo, Jiu Jitsu and Aikido, we all breakfall kind of the same way. Well, Sensei Josh has been training in uh, Japanese Jiu Jitsu and he has a new way or a, a little bit modified way of doing a break fall. So let's go ahead and check out this technique right now. So step one, let's learn structure for your landing, right? And we learn this through the roll up that you already do. Step one, let's talk structure. One, when you're doing old school safety fall, most of you probably land something like this. Yes? Here's the problem. I'm laying on my hip. This is how that, that, that socket sits. Your leg comes in to a hole, and when you land here, you've got a bone hitting a bone, and the more we hit that, the more it hurts, the more we start doing this and making the problem worse. Where I want you to go is I want both shoulders down, okay? And I want my back or my shoulder blades to come together, if you understand how the shoulders work. There's a strip of muscle under your shoulder blades that's padding on my spine. Then I want to bring my shoulder blades together. So now I got some bone and there's a strip of muscle on top of my shoulder blades. And so I got three layers. So I want my shoulders back. I also want my butt off the floor. Here, all my weight is supported by this leg on my calf, not my knee. Now how do I get here? We well, already did part of it. This thing, what I want you to do is up, hold your body, now cut a split. Now bend your knee. Now don't let your knee go out. Keep it in line with your shoulder and now no hands. Let gravity work for you and just come up to your knee. No hands. It will happen. Do not put this foot on the floor. If you put this foot on the floor when you're coming up, your hip stops moving. I watched all of you do it. When you put both feet on the floor, you all get stuck right here. It's because your hip stopped moving because you touched this foot on the floor. It stops you from falling forward. My uh, Jiu Jitsu sensei says, let this glide on a cushion of air. Just kind of kick it out and let your hands come forward so you're used to all of the motion going forward. That's the first step that'll help build the structure. Right? At least knee, hip, shoulder, head, those need to be in straight line, so I want you to be here. So every time I do a roll up, I come up. You should just be able to roll right back through it. You can do it as fast or as slow as you want, and you start, start it slow, right? Do not put this down, and don't put any weight on it. You should be able to land in the tip of your toe. My body is centered here. I don't need this foot. This just keeps me from, if I've got a lot of momentum, it keeps me from face planting. That's all I wanted to do. I don't want to lay on top. And then you're going like this. I worked really hard to separate my feet and my knees, right? It took me like five seconds to get down here. I don't want to bring them back together again, right? All right, and for those of us who are a little more uh, flexibility challenged, don't undo all your good work, right? You worked really hard to do this. So when you come down, Keep them spread apart. That way gravity feeds. Make sense? Yes, sir. You pull it back to you, it'll work, but you're guaranteed to hit your tailbone on the floor. Mm -hmm. We're absolutely trying to avoid. When you put your elbow on the floor, that's actually the only part of your body that's supporting weight. This other hand that we put up here for our own comfort is doing nothing. So it's free to reach behind me. I told some of you before class that falling is a timing deal. When you get your hand to the floor, the fall stops, and then it's just settle your body. So as I roll, I'm going to slap behind me. Everybody with me? Yes, sir. Okay. I don't ever want to do this. We, uh, it took me a long time to really make friends with this. You're gonna feel like you're reaching out. You're not, you're slapping with the entirety of your arm. Okay, so I don't want you to reach out to the mat, which is bad juju. You wanna slap with the entirety of your arm. So as I do my forward roll, all the things, elbow, when that shoulder hits the ground, slap, settle. And so my feet should still be on the ceiling by the time I'm slapping the mat, which is why when I did that jump back thingy, it's a technical term, when I did that, it seemed so soft because my hand hit just an instant after my feet left the ground. There was a lot of contact 
so the body really didn't have time to really impact. Make sense? And so that's the spatial awareness I want you to What often happens is I see people bounce their hips off the floor. Your tailbone is right there, right? Mm -hmm. And you're coming down on your tailbone and that's sending a shock wave up your spine, usually into your head. This is why if you take a really bad fall, you take or you get a headache, right? I don't like headaches. I don't like pain. I'm allergic to pain. I break out in blood. It's awful. So um, the jokes aren't getting any better to work with me. Right? <laughs> Split, arch your back. This is not holding me, this is just resting. And they should land in three separate uh, sections. Even when we get thrown, how are you? Even when I throw somebody, I want you to watch your hands, knee, and foot. Three consecutive falls, right? We have to build the three touches. So I want you to go hand, calf, foot. Push the knot of your belt to the ceiling all the time. The next one is a buddy fall. I need a big guy. Sorry, I brought two ladies with me and I'm not gonna have them be my Oki while I demonstrate this. Can you get on all fours for me and make like a tabletop? All right, so really important, I'm going to set my center, my tandem or danshin. I usually use the Chinese danshin on his back. And then I'm gonna Superman on his back. My hands, like this, are gonna hold his hip and his shoulder respectively, right? So I'm here. Superman, don't do this and try to, uh, don't do that. Okay, he's gonna get really mad if you keep doing that because <laughs> that's 200 and too many Taco Bells coming down in his spine. Okay? Or whatever your, you know, fast food of choice is. I like Taco Bell. Ugh. So I'm here. I'm Supermaning, I'm holding, and I'm gonna lift a leg. I'm just gonna keep turning on the top of your head. Now when I get him out here, slap the mat. So. And stay connected. Yes? Yes, sir. Do not slap as you fall. Slap when you're vertical. Let's look at it one more time. I'll do it the other side. The hand that slaps is on the side of the leg I'm lifting. Don't alternate. Do everything on the same side. So, my center, if you need to know where that is, typically it's right below the knot of your belt. Put that on his spine. Hover. Elevate, tuck, right here, you can hold. Slap the mat, saddle. And this is where you learn spatial awareness because you can do it slow, stay focused. If you get lost in the drill somewhere, you're gonna slam your back down or you're gonna let go of both hands and you're gonna fall down. And that's what I call self-correcting error. Right, it immediately draws your attention to the mistake. So. Well, there you have it, guys. That's Sensei Josh's modified new uh, brake fall, kind of a back and a side brake fall kind of combined. It does take a little bit of work to kind of get into it, but once you do, you kind of have it. Okay, so, guys, you made it to the end of the video. You know what to do. Do me a favor, hit that like button if you like this content. It helps us really know what to make more of. Smash that subscribe button if you're liking the videos you see here on our channel so we, uh, we get your support, it really helps us out. And then finally, if you haven't already done so, hit that bell icon, ding, ding, so you know the next videos coming out from all of us here at the Martial Art Limited Association. You guys stay safe, keep your hands up, make sure you fall properly, don't hit your head. You guys keep training, and we'll see you in the next video. This is JD, and I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.